So in this case, our uh, the transfer function of interest that we're looking at can be get was given by nine zero over one one zero nine, and we see that's going to be nine s over s to the third plus s squared plus nine. So we use our locus of g and with that MATLAB think about it for a moment and we end up with this plot and we see that that is indeed what we got by hand although albeit a much nicer version of that and the nice thing about this is we can go ahead and plot these points on here we can look at uh, how the poles change we can see we can find a value where the poles go from uh, negative real part to positive real part and we can look at how these poles change and we can see the gain associated with the pole as it um, gets closer and closer to zero. So for moderate gains, um, you know, gains say there's gain equal to one, right there, right about there. And there's, if I move this, I can find where gain is equal to one. And that's going to be right near the imaginary, or maybe even exactly on the, uh, the J omega axis. All right. So we, if we could vary all these poles together at the same time for a given value of k, we could see where these go. And that's one thing that the RL tool or the SISO tool is useful for. For example, if we type RL tool pass in g, we're going to get a window that looks very much like the SISO tool window, only here it's just specifically using uh, looking at the, the root locus. But again, we can use this to design a compensator or to design a, a control lock. All right, so there it is. And notice the compensator is at 1. And look, there are the actual uh, poles in the root locus. And in fact, they do lie on the J omega axis. All right, but what's nice is I can take the hand tool and I can grab one of the poles and I can move all of the poles around for different values of, get, of the gain. Now, notice when I move up here, this pole is moving closer to the J omega axis, but these are moving away. And notice what happens over here in my compensator design, that it went from 1 to 5. So now I have a proportional control gain of 5. The nice thing about this is I can look at some analysis plots, say a step response, look at the closed loop. And there's the step response of the system, of this particular system, uh, for that value of gain 5. And as I change the, uh, the gain here, then you see that my gain uh, over here also changes. Not exactly the best compensator design, but hey, you know, it works.